guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, Pasual Gaming. So don't forget to subscribe my channel, guys. So guys, uh, we have here laptop, Acer, so Nitro 5, you can see. This is fixed, Nitro 5, and this Nitro 5, guys. Yeah, Nitro 5, and then we have an Intel Core i5. So this is 8th generation processor. It's very, very, very nice because we have Intel. And then we have GeForce GTX. So uh, I saw this is specs is a uh, GTX 1050. So there's no PI. So it means to see this 2 GB only. So this is Acer guys. This is 8th generation processor. It's, this is 8th generation also uh, Nitro 5. So the problem is this guys is uh, when you restart or when you own this PC uh, because you're using this HDD. It's not 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 a SSD. HDD is very old. So the problem, guys, is uh, it means to say uh, we can uh, very slow, guys, if you on or restart or shut down or turn on. Uh, it's very 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 difficult to see because uh, sometimes it it will be your uh, bad day because it's very slow and it cannot open directly. So we will upgrade this one, guys. We will upgrade because we the. The planning this this owner is this owner is planning to buy some uh, upgrade some uh, some uh, SSD so we have SSD now so we replace this uh, HDD into SSD so this is very fast guys this is the speed and the power of this one is very nice so this is old is HDD inside here and this is SSD so re we we'll replace this one so. First thing first, guys. So we know, uh, we we like to know uh, how many minutes shut down or restart this one. So I will show you the problem. What is the problem of this laptop? Today is lag. And oh, see, guys, it, it's too laggy. So one minute, something like that. And if we restart. Yes. 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 We start, guys. Ah, so two minutes fifty seconds. This lap laptop is not yet ready. <laughs> I don't mean to say this is problem of the SSD, but ah, uh, we will replace into SSD. No. Now we will try to replace SDD to SSD so we have a proper tools this is your proper tools <laughs> that's you need it <laughs> we are professional this is this is a we are a doctor so remove power supply and here as you can see this is the RAM as also you can see how many stick the RAM or this is SDD this is the inside of the storage and we have the proper tools here that's a proportional technician we have proper tools <laughs> yeah you can see you can see this is SDD magnet dong Ah, uh, magnet yung. Post Anyway. Ano, ano? Three seconds boot up na ba? Six. Tung ako 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 not other so this is SDD guys so you can see ah this is 7200 rpm 5 volts and in mid in Thailand so we need to take out the bracket take out this one these proper tools these tools is so big that's for the useless. PC. This it's is useless. This is, is this is the proper. Yeah, this is the proper. 
you have to follow. This is the bracket. Ano yung iba naman gito? Ha? Ha? May mga nakakunik sa siya sa mga ilit. May mga ilit nyo. Asa? Ha? May mga ilit nyo. Asa mga ilit? So this is only go cover. So put this USB SDD here only. Only the cover. And... Eh... Asko naman. Yeah. As you can see guys, this is SDD and this is SSD as you can see if you have problem with the error in the SDD you can wipe it wipe it this uh, eraser or bulb, uh, pencil eraser and this is the same because this is a uh, SATA SATA type 2.5 inches SDD and SSD is the same but we have also here this one if you open this one is SPATA so it's different so we cannot put we, we cannot put this one into the SATA because it's different. So also Also guys if you have this one guys must be better to put also the same you need some enclosure because it's the same SATA also. You can use this one internal and external. external. So we'll use this internal for the laptop. So let's go. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. forget to like and subscribe. Shout out, kay Asidilo na load. Just click here. Click here. Pa'it kaniyo? Click here. Ang mga kwaas ba? Pag mo ikwarto, pa'it kuno ikwarto isani. Wanter ang mga kwaas ba? Ah, mas maganda. Ma, ucinta siguro na. So, the guys here only discover and then, yeah. Okay. This is the proper tool. So this is uh, it means to say this is Unisix also. You can use your in the nose. You can use also <laughs> upside down. <laughs> so we replace that one, guys. So we don't need this one. Uh. So this is guys, guys. We can we can just format this one and then uh, if the health, I will try it. How much the health this one? I will I will I will uh, uh, test this one. If uh, 30, 50, uh, 20 percent health below, so I will make one hundred percent. So it looks like brand new. All you need to do, guys, uh, just buy some enclosure in the online. Sata enclosure, guys, not pata, because two types different sata and pata. So yeah, guys, it's very easy, guys. Even the child can learn it. And put it back for our useful. One terabyte, pwede niya. Proper, oh, one terabyte. Pwede niya yung mga kwalidad. Isterno, ikaw na partner. Now, guys, ah, we already returned this four bolts with our proper tools. This is very useful, guys. What if we don't have this one? How come? So now we return. So we will not check this RAM. This RAM is a uh, still function. It's eight gig, eight GB. Now, guys. So let's start. Where's my USB? So this is my USB, guys. Two point zero, almost seven years ago. I uh, just uh, three times with the laundry and it's still functioning. Uh, there's also how many thousand income of this <laughs> for my customer. So now we will try now guys to install the Windows 10. Eight duration above processor Intel. So if you see in the your laptop there's some uh, marking there uh, i5 i3 it 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 th or that is, is 8 duration and 9th that is 9 duration so 
we format uh, because if you're not but if you're using some in tape is in the uh, iteration it will not detect so this is a proper procedure how to how to detect this uh, iteration in the motherboard in the BIOS so first thing first guys you may format again and put some it pop pot 32 yeah that one guys and it's up to you which whatever you like whichever you like this name so just quick format this is for the eight generation above guys processor and slide. and wait for it until you finish doesn't matter guys if you have 8 GB or 16 GB or 32 GB USB you can use it close so we have pad 32 now the USB so all we need to do is go to robust and yes and select this windows 10 and it's automatically directly to the GTP so this is pad 32 don't use ETFS this is pad 32 because your USB is pad 32 now for using for the 8 duration above processor in the Intel so if you see in your laptop is 8 generation you can use this one otherwise if you use some some uh, NTFS it will not recognize in the BIOS it will not detect so this is the this is it guys so just follow my procedure and this is only GPT UFI non-CSM and PAT32 this is a uh, hundred surely that uh, it will function guys because uh, if not using this, this procedure it not function and you, you maybe you're confusing and you can try this one guys uh, this 8 duration uh, uh, Acer Nitro 5 I just tried already I just tried in ATFS that it will not detected but I just tried this GPT PAT32 it will be detected and then it will format properly so start and okay and then it takes time guys 14 minutes or 14 minutes 16 seconds 17 seconds is the same in the first method so don't cancel don't don't do anything other apps or don't don't do use uh, other apps just wait for it until he finish do do not do something and then until finish 14 minutes guys and you can and it will be become here ready here ready and then just close it so that's all guys so now guys i already uh use this bootable key in windows 10 so gpt uefi so pad 32 so because you're using that one not mbr because this is eighth generation processor so this new so eighth generation above nine generation ten generation or eleven generation or twelve generation now so using you use this gpt in the ropos and uefi because it will recognize that one but if you're using seven generation processor below so you use MBR, MBR only, and also in tape in TFS. So for us, because we have eight generation, so we need GPT, UEFI, and PAT32, USB, and Cropos. So this one, guys, how to format this this nitro. Acer and a generation just on and click F2 uh, they have some password so I need to join that one so I put password in the security so never mind that one so this is the BIOS so just copy my copy my settings that one and advance enable enable so security so no need to one 
So, both this boot is yeah already detected because we're using uh this one guys this one you it if i just change the uh the number so first that one guys you if if i so you need to like that guys you if i so if your your if your format or if use bootable USB is not UEFI, so it will not display here. So there's some error here. There's nothing here hide here because it is not UEFI. So be sure you use Ropus and UEFI. So exit and just exit saving changes and yes and click if to uh, f12 f12 guys f12 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 yeah and that one so our bootable key this windows boot already installed that one but i will change the os so we use this usb Jit plus transcend 8 gig. This is a bootable key. So we, we click this one and yes, I enter because to, we need to format this one. I already put the OS, but uh, I don't like that OS because it's old version. So I will put another one, this new one. That's why. So wait for it. So install guys, yeah, you can see as you can see guys. So USB here and install it. Yeah, it's very easy guys. So next, just click next and install. Sit up is starting. But always remember, remember guys, if your processor seven generation below, you need uh mbr and and ntfs but if your eight generation below uh above processor you need uefi and pat 32 so that it will recognize in your computer just custom uh, so we will delete all this one to make it new already installed this one that's why we we delete uh, this one now new and i will put here two zero one one two three so like this 200 gb something like that and it's okay so this one 196 gb so it's okay 196 and install it so that's it guys uh, already install it just wait for the moment and always remember guys if you're using some processor you need to find out what you need and and don't confuse if there's no recognize or you cannot you cannot recognize your USB because there's something wrong or some not uh, good setup. So that's it guys. Thank you. So I already changed the HDD to SSD. So we will try. This is HDD. So already changed ssd so we will try it how many seconds boot so on one one two so three seconds oh my god very fast three seconds boot that's the different guys so you need to this 
you need to change your HDD into SSD. So your PC or your computer is very fast booting. So there's no slow. Very nice. Uh, after, after we format this uh, Acer laptop, Nitro 5, put some SSD, uh, SSD, so from HDD to HSD. So, we will try this laptop uh, all loaded with games, all applications. So, we we'll try how many seconds boot. So, we'll try now. So, I will on and, and together with play this timer. On and play. So, Acer. So, 10 seconds. 10 seconds boot time. So, very fast. Because uh, last time we try it's DD. Almost 2, two minutes. That's why now it's loaded. So, only 10 seconds boot. boot. So, this is the replaced HDD to SSD. This is a PNY made in Taiwan. It's very nice. That's it. Okay.